Hello, and welcome to another session of the eDocs training series. My name is Chris Gruber, and today I'll be showing you using eDocs DM with Core. Now, as you're probably familiar, there's all kinds of online file share services available, like OneDrive, Dropbox, and Box, just to name a few. OpenText also has one. We call it Core. It's a completely secure, cloud-based file share, sync, and collaboration service, which integrates tightly with many open text solutions, including eDocs DM. So let's take a closer look. As you know, in your organization, there's all kinds of documents and other content that you might need to share and collaborate on with some outside parties. But how do I ensure that I can collaborate and share with these outside parties in a controlled and secured manner? Well, that's where OpenText Core comes in. Let's start by logging in to the OpenText Core website. Now, for this demonstration, we'll say we're working with a client, a corporation called ABC Corp. We need to share a specific contract with them so that they can collaborate on this document with us. Currently, that contract resides in our eDocs DM library. So let's share this eDocs DM document using Core. To do this, I'll log into the OpenText Core website, and once I'm in, I'll create a folder for ABC Corp. As you can see, I'm already collaborating with other parties, some internal, some external. Let's click New Folder to create the folder, and then we'll name it ABC Corp, and then click Create. Now we can share it by clicking the Share icon. That's the icon that looks like a person's head and shoulders. And who should I grant access to this folder? I can grant multiple people various levels of access. We enter the email address of the person we have in mind. Then we specify the level of access, collaborator, viewer, or manager. In this case, I'll choose collaborator. Now once I click Add, that's all I have to do within the Core web interface. Like other file share services, Core offers desktop and mobile client software. As you can see on this desktop, there's a shortcut to the core directory on this machine, a local directory that gets synchronized with the cloud. And there you see it, our newly created folder, with nothing in it, of course. Now let's go into eDocs DM. We'll locate the contract within Explorer or Outlook extensions, and then right-click the item, and then click Check Out to Core. What it's doing now is it's looking for all the core locations that we set up, the collaboration spaces. That way, we can choose which one we want to store this checked out document in. As you can see in the dialog, we can also select a date the document is to be checked back in by, as well as choosing to either properly check the document out or simply get a copy of it. In the core folder dropdown, you see we can specify which core location that we want the item to be saved to. So I'll choose ABC Corp, of course, then click OK, and then we'll pick which document version we're going to use. Once this is done, the document has been copied to the core collaboration space that I specified, and we can see the item is checked out in DM. As you can see in the Windows Explorer window, there's the folder for ABC Corp, and within it is the document. Meanwhile, our collaborator, who happens to like to do everything in Outlook, will see a core sharing notification email. When they click the link that's within it, that'll send them to the core website where they can log in. Now, if they don't have an existing core account, they'll be prompted to create a password for it. Once they log in, all they're going to see is that one folder, and within it, that one document. Now, based on the rights you grant this person, they could make changes, edit, add new items, download, anything that's necessary for you to collaborate on the document. They could even review the document's activity in a timeline, as you can see. The key point here is they only have to do what they need to do in a secure, safe environment. Once they're done and have notified us, all we have to do is go back to the item in DM and simply click check in from core. After it retrieves the document from core, 
We have the normal document check-in options available to us, like checking it in as a new document or a new version or simply unlocking it. I'll choose new version, and once I've completed the check-in process, DM brings the document back into the library. You can see in the document's history what core activity occurred, including specifics on the core location it was checked out to. Now back in our local core directory for ABC Corp, we see the contract is gone because core removed it when it was checked back into DM. As you've seen, we've gone through a complete life cycle of a collaboration using DM and core together. And it was quite easy and straightforward, as well as secure. This has been Using eDocs DM with Core. For further information, we encourage you to review the documentation. Visit our YouTube channel to keep up with all videos in the eDocs training series. Did you like this video? Do you want to see more like it? Do you have ideas for other videos? Join the discussion on the eDocs DM forum in the Open Text Knowledge Center. Feel free to contact support if you need any further assistance. We'd be happy to help. And thank you for taking time to watch this video. We hope you found it useful and that you'll be back for more in the eDocs training series.